Hi, it's Sophie here with another episode of Friday Favourites and this Friday it is all about greens powders. My top three greens powders and supplements. So when it comes to greens powders, they're really popular now. These bright green or, or in many cases actually bright, bright blue uh, foods and supplements that you see on Instagram you see all these bright blue bowls uh, superfood bowls and blue foods which are colored often by way of one of these um, algae powders which I'll talk about in a second so they're really popular and in this video, I'm going to very quickly go over the main ones that you'll see, which ones are safe and sort of good for you and those that are not. And then I'm going to show you my three favorites. So we'll get straight into it. Now, the main question that a lot of people have is, do I really need a greens supplement or greens powder? Certainly when I go back to England, I mean, I live in LA where everybody's drinking and guzzling and eating these things like there's nobody's business. And when I go back home, obviously there's a lot more of that now, but a lot of people, my mum in particular, will go, do you really need to have that, you know, bright green dr weird drink that you're drinking? And the answer is, I don't absolutely need it, and neither do you if you're eating a really healthy diet full of organic fruit and veg veggies and lots of dark leafy greens, such as kale and spinach and bok choy and watercress and herbs. That is my preferred source of greens, so don't ever think that you can use these in place of dark leafy greens, these wonderful fresh whole foods. But as um, an addition, as an adjunct uh, to sort of dial up your health in many different areas, I think that many greens powders and supplements have a wonderful place in your diet. So not necessary, but absolutely fantastic um, if, if you want to give them a try uh, for different things. So first off, let's talk about the difference between the main greens powders that you're going to see at the health food store. So the main ones you're going to see are spirulina, chlorella, wheatgrass, and barley grass. So there's the kind of, if you like, the ocean or the water, it's not really ocean, the water greens, which are um, grown in water, fresh water, uh, or, or the ocean, which would be your spirulina and your chlorella. And then there's the land grasses, which be, would be your wheatgrass and your barley grass. And then of course there are greens in the form of uh, seaweed as well, but I'm not talking so much about that today. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the difference between spirulina and chlorella, because when you go to the store to buy a greens sup, a green, well actually, a, a protein powder, and a lot of the protein powders now have greens in them, most of them, I would say almost 98% of them, contain spirulina, and actually I was very hard pushed to find one that didn't. Now. I prefer chlorella to spirulina, and this is the reason why. So spirulina is um, a blue-green algae. Chlorella is a green algae. And I don't want to make this entire video a really doing a deep dive into the, the, the sort of benefits and the um, pitfalls of either of these because it's a lot of information. So I'm gonna make this really simple for you. My problem with the blue-green algae, as in spirulina, is that it can be contaminated and very often is contaminated and it's very difficult for you as a regular consumer to find out if a product, a spirulina, is completely uncontaminated with hepatotoxins which can be very toxic to your liver, neurotoxins obviously cause degenerative uh, diseases in your brain, and heavy metals which you know affect all of your body, your brain, your liver, everything. 
and um, tests that have been done on many samples of or all samples, uh, almost all available of spirulina have found that a very high percentage contain all or some of these contaminants. Now, that's not to say that there may be some brands out there that test four times a year and they quadruple test and they're super, super vigilant about this but it's hard to be sure and it's hard to find out. So for me, I tend to steer clear of spirulina. I think that the risks outweigh the benefits and there really are benefits. You know, it's very high in protein, it's very high in chlorophyll, um, et cetera, et cetera. But as I said, I think the risks outweigh the benefits. Now, chlorella and both spirulina and chlorella have their deep green color because they're full of chlorophyll which is really really healing regenerative for your cells um, chlorella uh, does not have the same issue with contamination so it's it's a lot safer with all of these though i will little word of caution pop in right here is that if you're pregnant or if you're feeding a small child or if you're on medications particularly blood thinners or immune suppressants then you might want to be really really careful about taking any kind of green supplement always check with your doctor first but chlorella has the chlorophyll in it it does have protein in it and it has the active form of vitamin b12 which is very important if you're whole food plant-based or a vegan i'm whole food plant-based so it's a really added benefit for me i take my b12 but every time i have my chlorella i'm like this is great it's also a proven detoxifier it's really really good for detoxification because it binds to heavy metals in your system also studies have found that it is extremely helpful with ulcerative colitis so if you or anyone you know has ulcer ulcerative colitis um, you might want to look at this and another um, supplement that I'm going to tell you about in um, in a moment um, so that is the difference so what I'm going to show you today is um, supplements or a protein powder that contains uh, chlorella, not spirulina. And as I said before, do check your labels because when you go to the store, you'll look at all these green supplements and really everything from bars to uh, powders to smoothie mixes to every time you go to a smoothie bar and you get like a super green they are almost always going to be using spirulina. So you need to put your detective hat on. And when I go to the store and I go, I don't want spirulina, they're like, what? Because it's got such a, you know, wrap as being such an amazing supplement. And as I say, all the Instagrammers use it, the beautiful food stylists, because it makes food so pretty, the blue green algae, because of this bright blue color. Uh, so then we go on to the, uh, the grasses, the, the sort of land greens, if you like, and that would be your wheatgrass and your barley grass. Now, wheatgrass can also be extremely helpful for ulcerative colitis. Wheatgrass and barley grass are both really good for your gut. They contain protein, they contain so many vitamins and minerals, but they're extremely good for gut health, and that's why I really recommend them. All right, so now let's get straight in. You probably have questions already, and if you do, leave them below the video. You know I love your questions, and I always get back to you as soon as I can. Um, but right now, I'm actually gonna show you the ones that I personally recommend. Okay, so here we have my collection to show you. Now, first off, I want to show you Kyo Green. This is a favorite of mine. Now, it's a greens blend. It says it uh, gives you energy, but it contains barley grass, wheat grass. Remember, great for your gut, great for energy. And if you have a condition, a digestive condition, such as colitis, uh, then this uh, wheat grass is going to be really important for you. And then, of course, it has chlorella which is the um really really important green the better green in my mind uh the algae it's a green algae not a blue green algae remember the blue green algae are the ones that can be subject to contamination this is just a green algae really pure form it's the broken cell which is always what you need to look for 
Also, this uh, supplement contains, or powder contains kelp. So that's, I really love the kelp in it because kelp is a seaweed, it's a sea veggie. It contains iodine. And most of us are deficient in iodine. Iodine is very, very important for gut, it's not gut health, what am I talking about? For thyroid health. Um, so it's got everything that I need in there. Now, it comes in a little oops, single serve pack like this, which is genius for me because if you're traveling, if you're on the road, if you're going to the office, whatever, you just pop one of these in your purse. I have a glass of apple juice right here. I'm just going to pop it into the juice because I want to show you how easily it dissolves. You can just whisk it around with a fork or a spoon. I have a little whisk here, but that's it. It's actually delicious. Um, it doesn't taste weird at all. And there you see you have that, a lovely drink of sweet tasting you know apple juice you could do water if you wanted to or any kind of fruit juice it's delicious in coconut water and um look how easy that is so if you're not getting your greens and you're on the road and whatnot or you want a little uh, boost in the afternoon which is what i how i take this um this is just a great great supplement i I love it. I think it comes in uh, tablet form as well, but I like these little sing single serve packets. Okay. If you enjoy this video and don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos, please subscribe and make sure you click on the bell icon next door to the subscription box so you'll be notified as soon as a video goes live. Also, make sure you turn on the notifications for YouTube on your phone.